up on the back stretch. Here's Trish Soulsby. Thank you. And who better to answer questions about Grandma Gordy than her conditioner, Kurt Sugg? And actually, Kurt, if you were a horse player here at Delaware or watching on some broadcast, you might get a little nervous when you see her out there scoring down as she's loping along. Is that just Grandma Gordy? Yeah, that's all her. Uh, she's done that ever since she was uh, being broke as a tear and she doesn't smooth out until she heads uh, the right way of the track. Little habits like that. Are you better off letting a filly do her own thing, or should you try to make them mind their manners? I like to let them do their own thing. Uh, as long as they behave when it's time to go, it, anything they else want to do is fine with me. So you keep those fillies sweet and happy. That sounds good to me. Grandma Gordy has a lot of wins on her car this year, but most of her wins have been at the fairs. How will racing here today be a lot different? Well, uh, she's raced against these fillies in the sire stakes, and uh, they're a little tougher for her, and the eight hole definitely will be a little tougher for her. But uh, we got John Campbell, and uh, I think she'll hold her own in here. What do you tell a man like John Campbell when he comes over to you and he's driving your horse? How do you send him postward? Uh, you're the best driver in the world. I don't have to tell you anything. <laughs> so as far as like any little keys about Grandma Gordy, you just keep your mouth shut? Right. Uh, he's been around there enough times to know what's going on. All right. Despite the eight hole, which everybody thinks is tough uh, on a half mile track, you think she can overcome that post? Uh, I think so. I think uh, John can uh, use driving abilities to work out a great trip in here and uh, hopefully get the job done. Grandma usually sees the front end. Does she have to have it? Oh, not at all. The uh, fair race and uh, front end is the best place to be, so that's why she was always there at the fairs. All right, then let's jump ahead to our second program, first race, because you have another contender in. And this particular horse, a filly, I believe, also, is Have No Secrets, a two-year-old, and uh, still a little bit green, looking for that maiden victory. Yeah, she's been in some tough company uh, all her starts. Uh, she did race one maiden race down at Scioto and got a second. Uh, but she's getting a little better with every start, and I think we got in a little easier than she's been in. And uh, we got Luke Willett uh, today, so that can't hurt. All right, Kurt, let's talk a little bit about the competition. And uh, When you are looking for a horse to get the confidence of that initial win, yet you have them staked to different things, I see Pennsylvania All-Stars, etc. Isn't that a tough way for a young horse to learn to race? Uh, very tough, uh, but uh, the owners uh, pay in those stake payments, and uh, if they think they're ready, you've got to go. So <laughs> you have to listen to the owners as well as the horse. But um, what about communication as a young trainer with your owners? Is that something that you work on on a daily basis? I try to. Uh, Mr. Crouch that owns uh, Have No Secrets, I don't see him very often. He's pretty busy in the summertime, but my other owners I'm usually in touch with uh, a couple times a week. All right, Kurt, I wish you well today. Good luck and thanks for joining me. Thanks, Trish. Let's go back over. Kurt Sugg, one of the